Boom! Oh, uh, what a suck out. Oh my goodness. I feel like we're gonna have a lot of all ins today. All in? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> It's war. I knew I was gonna be in a spot like this against MJ. I hope the best looking guy in this pot wins. Why so little? Should I bet more? Did you guys get a gerbil yet or what? Flopped up here. Oh my oh. god! Oh. Oh. Cody! Oh my god! Well, that was fun, guys. You sure that was 20K? What's up, everyone? Welcome to Studio 52. I am Jay Carver, and we are live playing some 25, 50, 100, no limit hold'em. There is almost $100,000 on the table, and Lily Coletto kicking us off with a raise with pocket tens on the first hand of the night. Dan Shack on the button with ace queen suited. He's going to put in the call. And Johnny Vibe is going to come along with the Jack Five of Hearts. Poker Night in America President Todd Anderson, the honorary dealer for the first hand of the night, going to take us to the flop. Lily's 10 is still in the lead, but she's going to check over to Dan. Dan, you playing with that uh, garbage? Who decides to bet with what Lily calls his garbage? Vibes out of the way. Lily calls. Garbage. Check. Flush draw now for Dan Shack. Lily still almost a three to one favorite with her pocket tens. Snap. Quick check call here from Lily. Check. Oh, but an ace on the river for Dan, making him the best hand. He's going to bet pretty small here. 2,000. Oh, it just got better and better for me. Oh. Got worse and worse for you, Lily. I think you're bluffing. <laughs> I think you have a 7 9. I don't know. Guessing we're chopping. Oh. No. No, no chop. Dan's going to win the first pot. Are you kidding me? You said your hand got first better blood. and better. I thought the river. If your no, river made it better, we were chopping. Johnny Vibes. The vlogger raising up under the gun with pocket sevens. Very successful over here on YouTube. Lily next to act. She's going to call King 10 offsuit. And MJ Gonzalez with the 10 deuce offsuit. He's going to put a raise in. There is a bounty on the 10 deuce. Any player who wins with 10 deuce and shows it collects $200 from every player in honor of the late great Doyle Brunson. Both players come along, and we've got a almost $4,000 pot. Lily and MJ Gonzalez both make pairs. MJ going to bet very small here on the flop, only 450 into 3700 Vibes with a gut shot, but can't be too happy about this. I wanted to say something. Let's it go, and Lily's going to call. Excellent. Is it? I don't know. I don't, I, I, no, I don't know if I can beat. Excellent. They should pay you for. Any nine would make a straight here. Vibes would have made a set of sevens, but MJ's gonna bet again. Pretty small. I think that that's hit your range. I'm gonna I'm gonna bow down. Oh, oh my there it god! Is. You little MJ tables the ten morning, deuce, Jesse, wins nice the to pot. Wake up. And a thousand dollars total from all the players. Right. Very next hand, MJ's got ten deuce again. Guys, I have good hands sometimes too. I believe you. It feels sometimes. like this time is one of those times. Oh, bad read, Johnny Vibes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. wow. MJ collects the pot on, and Kyle. another thousand dollars. I mean, ten deuce. Back to back. Action over to Johnny Vibes on the button. He's gonna raise it up with the ace deuce offsuit. MJ was in the blinds in this hand, but just folded out of turn. So it's Lily and Johnny Vibes headed to the flop. Oh, it's right piece for both players. It's right in my range. Check. I mean, it could be in my range too, honestly. I mean, you don't have Okay, six. Check raise here from Lily. Okay, I call. <laughs> here we go. She doesn't think he has much, and she's right. But now Johnny vibes with one of the best cards he could pick out of the deck. A straight with a straight flush draw. And Lily makes a flush draw, but it's second so best. So garbage is better. 
We did. We had a After check raising the flag. you have a good hand. I mean, it wasn't. She bets pretty big on the turn, and both players make a flush, but there's a straight on board. That one got spicy. Check. Very spicy. Vibes is just thinking, how much can he bet here? You think he can go pretty large? Most players will get a little stubborn here, especially if they have any club. Oh, he bets small. Oh, Lily's going to see the bad news. She could have lost more if wow. Vibes had bet more than 1500 but in any case, nice pot for Johnny Vibes. Johnny Vibes on a little bit of a heater here. He's picked up pocket aces. And he's going to raise it up in the cutoff position. MJ comes along with king nine clubs. Flush draw for MJ. Johnny Vibes with an over pair and decides to check it back. Sets the trap here for MJ. And it's going to work. MJ betting more than the size of the pot on the turn here. Vibes just calls. Oh, but a club on the river makes MJ the best hand. And he's going to bet almost one and a half times the size of the pot. And what can you do here if you're Johnny Vibes? He's not happy about it, but he's going to pay and see the bad news. Nice pot for MJ. Ace 10 here for Lily. She's going to start us off with a raise. And MJ, he's splashing around out there. 10-4 diamonds good enough to call. There's no bounty on the 10-4. Dan calls with pocket nines. And we're going to go three ways here to the flop. Two of the worst. Wow. <laughs> and Shaq. <laughs> yeah, and, and Shaq. Queen Jack 10. Everybody catches a piece of it Eight. here. Dan with an open ender. Lily with bottom pair, best kicker. MJ, bottom pair, no kicker to be found. Pretty large bet here from Lily, and MJ decides to call with his backdoor flush draw and bottom pair. Kind of a tough spot here for Dan. He does have that open ender, but he has to be afraid of any ace should a king come and make his straight. And he gets out of the way. Flush draw now for MJ. Check. Quick check, check. And MJ makes his flush. Lily with tens 22. and queens. It won. She bets pretty big here and gets snap called, of course, by the flush. She's going to see the bad news. Wow. And it's just been one of those nights so far for Lily. It's pretty amazing. Keeps running into nice some sense. big hands. <laughs> it's never, the only way Dan's not pleasant is when he has that f***ing laptop in front of him. Yeah. And actually, away from a poker table, MJ is pleasant. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Dan wow. Shack with the jokes. No, Dan's great. Really, really fun. 250. But Jesse Sylvia here with the aces. Are you in Vegas a lot, He's Dan? Gonna raise it up. His yeah, first hand. Who left it? Action over to somebody named Jason Somerville in the big blind. He's going to call. Jack 6 5 with a flush draw. Neither player with a diamond. I decide to check. Jesse bets reasonable size here. And I, I don't think you must continue with just the gut shot here, but I think our hand is good enough. Maybe a seven or a nine is good, as well as obviously an eight, especially not diamond. Turn is a seven, and now I decide to bet out on the turn here. I just think I have a lot of two pairs. This is, this is and the turn leads we were just talking about. This is in my nice. It's in my brain now. <laughs> a little table chat for me. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if this is uh, approved as a thing, but... I'm sure he has, but I've been exposed to them existing. And now River 9 with the backdoor flush draw and ending 8 making a straight. I really did not know what to do, and I still don't. Obviously, we do beat Jacks and could get called by Kings, Queens, Aces, but decide to check. I'm not sure about that. What do you guys think? Should I have bet this hand? I mean, it's very obvious when he has Aces, but... The solver would not approve. Yes, both past Jason and current Jason are not sure about ace. checking the river. Oh my God. Let me know in the comments, was I just a nit? Just call me a nit in the chat if you think that was too tight. Let me have it. Or was I too tight or too right? And Johnny Vibes with pocket aces here. He's gonna raise on the button. 
Oh, but Lily Coletta with ace queen suited in the small blind. She's going to re raise. Can't miss so everything. unlucky for Lily running into a bigger hand yet again. And Vibes just called, setting the trap. Yeah, with the sweat. Oh, man. Top pair, top kicker for Lily. 1,000. She only has about $3,500 left. All in. She bets a thousand vibes moves all in. She's gonna quickly call and see the bad news. She's got to find a queen and, or have some running help here. Jack, she could make a king or a nine, but nope. Unfortunately, Lily's top pair yeah, no nice good. I say vibes. Well, what that was a brutal fun, night for Lily. You sure that was twenty k? Oh, Johnny Vibes' is hot night continues. Ace King suited. He raises it up. Dan Shack with pocket tens in the small blind could just call. But he's going to re raise to 900. With about 10,000 in his stack. There's someone here, here earlier I thought was my play. And Vibes puts in the re re raise with the Ace King suited. $2,500, and we've got ourselves a pretty hefty pot here. Over $5,000 heading to the flop. And now this coin flip is skewed in Vibe's favor. Any club, ace or king, will make him the best hand. Small bet from Vibe's. Shaq can't go anywhere. He has a backdoor flush draw himself. Still has the best hand, but not anymore. Nut flush for Johnny Vibes. Vibes bets very small again. Two small bets here. And Dan with a flush draw on his tens. You can't blame him for calling again. There we go. Dan checks. And now Vibes only has one play. Dan doesn't have that much left behind. He puts them all in. Never played with you. I don't view you much as bluffing. Tough spot here for Dan. I don't think he's, I don't know. I don't play with him much. Don't ask me, Dan. Nice uh, hold, Dan. And we got a new player, Bob Mather, private investigator, joining the field. Johnny Vibes, he has been on fire, absolute fire. Ace King suited, raises it up. MJ just calls with the ace jack, heads up to the flop. Another good flop here for Vibes. Nut flush draw, top pair, and MJ has exactly the kind of hand you want your opponent to have when you have ace king. Vibes is going to keep putting money in this pot. Goes with a pretty big bet here on the turn. And MJ can't go anywhere yet. And Vibes with the flush on the river. Kind of a scary card for MJ, though. Vibes is just thinking, how much can he bet that lets MJ call with a worse ace? And Vibes picks a little bit more than the size of the pot, $4,000. Tough spot here for MJ. Wow, can he fold this? I don't know what to do. Wow, I nice said, fold. And that's why MJ is one of the best. Dan Jack gonna raise it up with the A7 of diamonds. Bob decides to put it in with the Jack-9 offsuit. Let's gamble a little bit. Nut flush draw for Dan. Middle pair for Mr. Mather. 400. Quick bet and a call. Trips now for Bob. Wow, very quick. Check, check. And Dan rivers the nut flush. Oh, Bob goes to bet. <laughs> yet yeah. It looks at one card. I wonder which card that was. But what? Dan, Dan quickly folds what? Oh, Wait. I know that, but I f***ed up. 
Wait, that's my no, hand. No, that's his hand. That's his oh. hand. You can show it. <laughs> no, it's okay. I had you. Oh, no, you had a full house. Oh, my God. I misread. I you misread your hand. You misread your hand again. By then you his stole hand. my card. I apologize, but and I, you misread I, my I rivered cards. enough flush, and I didn't realize it, or I would have obviously Are you okay? called. No, no. I, okay? There were three diamonds How out there. How many fingers correct? am I holding up there? Was there three diamonds? All right. That's wild. It's official. I can't beat this. Game. All right. If that's true, three diamonds, yeah, you literally seven. didn't. I look. swear to God, I folded in that flush. How many fingers that's am I holding? Oh my God! I can't beat Dan Shack with with the. He he's got a, the. He had me too. Which is he's crazy. got the mystery. <laughs> you wouldn't have even known that if you hadn't looked. How much is it? Four K. I'm like positive you have ten deuce. Oh. Wow, that's how he does it. You guys are both playing really good right now. Bob would have played this exactly the same way I did. Hold in. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, give us a like, and I am 100% sure you will enjoy this video. It is the greatest poker video of all time. Check that out, and I'll see you back for the next one.